Jordan Wara hits Sutton backdoor for the stop. That's the play that we saw them run today. Wara has already surpassed his totals from a year ago in points, rebounds, blocks, seemingly every category. Jalen Walker shows what he can do off the bounce. Wild cross court pass, four saves it. Now Cunningham saves it, looks at the clock, takes the three, puts it in. Makes some tough shots. You can see that. Walker narrowly avoids the turnover, and Roberts spots up and answers the freshman from Detroit with just his fourth three of the season. First half on the road at an ACC foe, knocked in a couple from the outside, and then there's Jordan Wara. <laughs> Says, this is my house. Scored six points for Chris Mack's team. The lead up to 11. With five, Kristen Cunningham. From the foul line, puts it in. Kristen Cunningham filling it in, going into the half. A little crossover to be able to get the separation to put the Cardinal up by 17. Team to five run, won the game. Only turned it over eight times last weekend. No one picking up sudden as he can, came down. And a team that defends and rebounds and competes every night. And I think that as long as you're doing that, you're going to put yourself in position. You see Walker being able to come up with a nice basket. And then in four. Cardinals are going to hope that the defensive energy can keep them in game. And then you get Sutton. Five minutes gone in the second half. That has been all Cardinals until that three from Walker. And who's the foul on underneath? Oh, inside for Kent State. You see Winnington giving Ryan McMahon a, a nice little shove down there. And he emerges with a loose ball. Dishes ahead. Four throws it high. And the tip in for Wara. Not the thunder that most were expecting, but it counts the same. You see, this is about, what I would call it an alley hoop instead of an alley. Uh, <laughs> a narrow loss to Marquette and then obviously Tennessee. They're not going to make him inbound the ball.